What's up guys, it's TJ. Welcome up here to the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. In today's video, we have uh, Fishing with Norm over here. We've got Trey Hello. over here. In today's video, we're gonna be attempting to survive for 24 hours in Norm's treehouse. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it on 24 <laughs> hours. <laughs> I want so, to tell myself So here's now. the deal though, here's the deal. The last one to leave this treehouse gets $1,000. So now, okay, not cash money, not cash money, a $1,000 box of random fishing stuff. There's like a $500 reel in there. It's actually, the box has actually got over $1,000 worth of stuff in it. $1,000 just sounds better for a <laughs> YouTube a video. It's, it's, yeah. it's just yeah, it's a little, little curious. because Yeah, I, just wait, a little let bit. Let me check your truck real quick. Uh-oh. See, all you brought down was a rod and reel, so I'm confused on where this $1,000 of fishing Bluers and reels is coming from. It came from uh, your garage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So I see. We're surviving in my treehouse with a thousand dollars of my own stuff, and I think I know what box you're already talking about. Are you sure there's one reel in it, or is there like five? There's seven, I think. Uh, that, that's like a five thousand dollar box, dude. Oh. Do you know what reels those are? No. That's it's... the same video I filmed. The five most expensive reels from Shields. Yeah. And then a couple extra expensive reels I've thrown in there from other challenges. That's my expensive reel box. I remember that box, or I remember that video being around twenty eight hundred dollars. So maybe the box is worth five thousand dollars. It probably is. Probably is. Because, so, uh, dude, there's like there's eight hundred dollar. Trey knows the Daiwa reel. There's eight hundred dollar reels and there's seven hundred dollar reels. Yes. The cheapest reel in that box is six hundred. $5,000. Last one to leave the treehouse gets a $5,000 box of fishing baits and hopefully you win to keep your stuff. And if you don't, it's coming home with, uh, well, I'm oh, not going to lose. Dude, it's coming there's home Pokemon with cards in that box too. Oh my gosh. This video just keeps taking turns for the worst. <laughs> I don't want to sit in a treehouse for 24 hours, dude. Guys, Yakpack always has these ideas and always just drops them on me. Uh, th there's zero part of me that is interested in this challenge already from the start. Going into my treehouse, it's been in the backyard for like three months. I've never been in it personally. You know why? Because I don't want to. I'm not a child anymore. I'm a grown man. I'm 24 years old. I have real responsibilities. I can't go play in treehouses and mess around. And then on top of that, the, the grand prize is stuff I already own. Each contestant, to include Trey behind the camera, you have a $25 budget. And that is going to encompass everything you need to survive for the next 24 hours. So wait, you said twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. So it encompasses everything. So keep in mind what you would need to survive for twenty-four hours, or if it goes over twenty-four hours, the last one to leave keeps Norm's stuff, and hopefully it's you. If it's not you, it's coming home with me. Now, nothing in the store is off limits: food, water, entertainment, supplies, etc. Nothing is off limits, but your budget is twenty-five dollars. I tell you what, there is no time limit, so we can be in here as long as you need to be in here to make this happen. Another thing to keep in mind, it is 105 degrees out here in Florida right now. There is no AC in this treehouse. Doors nope. closed. There's the windows don't work. Like it is going to be an actual heat box, an actual hot box in this treehouse. I've also got a surprise for you guys. We'll talk about that a little more when we get in the store. Okay, that'll be fun. Yeah, I always like is. surprises. Always is. Yeah. So with that said, we're going to make our way into the store. Don't forget to check Norm out. He's linked down in the description below. Make sure you check guys subscribe, out. like this video, share this video with some of your friends. Also, you guys have been killing it on the podcast. Um, I, I told you guys I would give a reel away when it got to 1,000 subscribers. And as it sits right now- I think it's like, like 3,000 or something, No, right? no, almost 5,000. Really? Three episodes deep. So an another 2,000 from yesterday. Literally that from yesterday. Nuts. Yeah, almost 5,000 subscribers. So the winner to the Corrado DC reel that I promised to give away is popping up on the screen right now. Also, while I'm on the giveaway topic, listen, if you get spammed with YouTube comments on Norm's videos, AO's, Lojo's, mine, anybody's, we will yeah. never announce giveaway winners in a comment section. It's always in the video because you cannot- there was almost a car accident going on I know, right I just saw what that, yeah. What is going on? You cannot, you cannot scam people when we are tech, like literally sitting here talking to you guys right now, telling you who won the giveaway. Do not fall for that. When you see comments yeah. like that in our comment section, please report that person and block them. But anyways. And it's only us too, because we all have verification checks. Too. Yes, so in the yes, comments, yes, if, yes. even if somebody's responding to you, look for the with verification the same, check. With the same with profile the same picture. username, same profile picture. Yes. They'll try to fake it, but normally it has like 30 numbers in it. Like yeah. a it's WhatsApp like It's like thing. text, text this real. number to claim your prize. That will never be us. And because what they're doing is they're making you guys, they're trying to get you guys to fall for a giveaway to get you guys to pay for shipping. We would never do that to you guys. We never, so, yeah, if we're giving something away, you, you never have to pay a dime. So a dime. If, if anybody asks you for money on any channel, like, yeah. and not even like outside of fishing, it's not real. Yeah, like, not real at all. But with that said, make sure you check out Norm, link down below, the podcast link down below, all that other good stuff. We're going to get out of this Florida heat because this is unforgiving. 
everything out here. We're gonna get in here and uh, each of us, no time limit, $25 budget, everything you need to survive for 24 hours. Winner gets a $5,000, $1,000, $7,000 box of whatever Norm has to offer. So <laughs> <Yep. laughs> we'll see you guys inside. So ladies and gentlemen, now that we're in the store, this is how this is gonna go. I told you guys I had a surprise, right? Now the surprise is we're gonna be playing fishing trivia once we get up to the treehouse while we're sweating to death up there in this Florida heat. Now, we're mm -hmm. gonna each ask, say, for example, we're standing in a circle like this, me, Trey, Norm. I'm gonna ask Trey a question. If Trey gets this fishing trivia question wrong, he has to give one of his survival items to me. Just say I have group ideas. Can we make it just an extra bonus budget instead let's do of 25? It, yeah. what, what, okay. would be, what would you, I'll let you pick since you're today's channel Well, let's, get, let's look around, dude. I don't we'll even just know do some looking. Dude, <laughs> this is what I want. So for $49, hear me out. We set the slam dunk smash. That's not on me. This is our entertainment for the next 24 hours. Oh, a wow. kid's basketball goal play set. $25 budget tray, no time limit. Take your time, get what you need to survive for the next 24 hours. Let's go to the camping section. Oh, a flashlight, bro. I gotta get a flashlight. I'm scared of the dark. You and me both. <laughs> we gotta get a flashlight. <laughs> that's, that's a community <laughs> item. <laughs> yeah, that could go towards all of our budget. Flashlights <laughs> and basketball. We can't be out there in the dark. Got that light. We're not gonna be scared of the dark tonight. So we all know it's gonna be hot. And nah, uh, I'm definitely gonna last longer than all these chumps over here behind the camera. I'm talking to you, TJ, especially. That's me? Yeah, that's you for sure. But uh, I'm gonna get a cooling pad. <gasps> Whoa, that's that's so twelve dollars for my budget, and you're not taking this in trivia. I promise. A cooling neck pad. <laughs> a cooling neck pad. That's, that's half your budget. Like that's genius. half of my budget, that's but it's okay genius. because I'm gonna survive the longest because I have this. Item number three. Oh no! I just dropped all my items, but this is my water because it's my budget, and these are mine, and so. <laughs> You're just not gonna touch them. Okay, deal. Oh god, so that's very smart. Trivia. That's <laughs> very a smart. Whole case, all to me. Mm -hmm. Stay hydrated, boys. You know, to survive 24 hours in the wilderness, you gotta have a good source of protein, and uh, I think there's really only one option for that, and it's uh, you know a childhood snack of ours. You know, we grew up on it. Uh, it was really a staple in uh, you know a lot of kids' diets, especially uh, you like the the baby boomers type era. We really gotta obsess and critique and pick the right flavor because you know you just wouldn't want to be malnourished in the in the wilderness you know yeah, so me. uh we're gonna go for nacho cheese okay. because you know why because you don't have to keep it cold and that's you know smart. if if you have some hot chicken or something you might be thrown up and it might make you go in early you know like big brain because when we, the cheese we, gets warm you go be easy. you go be barfing we can't be calling Ralph in the treehouse. Big brain right here. Okay. Big brain. So those are a dollar. Those are a dollar piece, by the way. So, so I could get five of these if I really wanted to, which I'm not gonna do. But I will get another one. Extra cheese and pizza. And trust me, I have a kid. We're going gourmet tonight, boys. Bologna cheese sandwiches with chocolate chip cookies. Oh, bingo! My God, dude. And them cookies are gonna get warm. <laughs> Is that your budget? That's, That's your budget. it. That's it. That's all I need to beat you. All right, Trey. Good selection. I like it. You've got a uh, got your water, which is probably the most important thing you bought, to be honest. Norm. Actually, the cooling blanket's probably the most important thing you bought because it's gonna be hot up there. So, Norm, since you're today's guest in this video, we'll yeah. let you have it. You got okay. it. All right, I'm gonna start with the Lunchables as well. Smart. Trey put us yeah. on. Trey literally just put us on. Yes. It, even though if he wouldn't have done it, I would have done it anyways. But mm. just get a couple. You know, my thing is, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here because I can leave at any point, right? I mean, yeah, of course. Unless you want to win, you could leave. We could get there, set yeah. everything up, and you could leave. We'll see how. We'll see how it is when we get there. I might have to edit a video tonight, so yeah. I'm just I'm going for pure fun while I'm there. I like pure it. luxury. I'm not I like it. Like it, with his food. You don't even need food to really survive, but with water, he could survive for a really long time. You, can, Mr. Beast didn't need food for 30 days. That is insane. You did a challenge, you don't really need food. I was about to say, he probably lost a lot of weight doing that. Next up, not really a great survival tactic, but uh, we have Prime, you know, gotta show the boys, Logan and KSI, some love. 
and uh, we're gonna do an orange and a red. They are a dollar eighty-eight, so this will be four dollars off my budget. Okay. But it's just gonna taste good. There's really no other reason. I would get this is the same amount for all the waters. That's about our survival tactic. This is just if I don't enjoy myself, I'm gonna leave quicker. So I'm just trying yeah, to have enjoyment. Of course. Yeah, of course. I see. So. I see that. I see that. Um, so you now have nineteen dollars left in your budget. Okay, sounds good. I know exactly what I'm gonna spend it on. Hello, dude. Oh my. You're gonna have to sleep. You didn't even think about sleeping. You said I don't want a blanket because it's gonna be hot. But how are you just gonna sleep on solid wood? You said I have a. Uh, Nineteen dollars. Well, dude, I'll just get this like fifteen dollar pillow right here. If I actually decide to stay, which I don't know, I might bring my laptop up if that's not cheating, so I can edit. If no. I decide to stay. Or, yeah, well, last one and, leave though, so you have to bring. You have to get Zay to bring it to you. Yeah, you gotta have somebody bring deliver it, to, it yeah. to me. Like oh, dude, dash and laptops. I could just DoorDash food. You could. Oh! So now you're choosing between a pillow and DoorDash. Okay, I'll spend this as my budget. Okay. And then I have a few dollars left, but I don't think I need it because there's nothing else I really want. That is very, very smart. Just a pillow, some food, some drinks, and we'll see how long I last. Wow, nice shorts, by the way. Oh, dude, thank you. You can get them at GuggenSquad.com with code YAKPAK. Show but your they, pinky for what code to use. They don't, you, they don't come with the, the code NORM tattoo. That's that's a that's a custom uh, custom feature, but unfortunately it faded. I need to get it touched up because I put it on this hand. I put my phone in this pocket, so I'm all the way, all the time. It just faded. But we found ourselves back in the water hydration aisle, and uh, I myself, when I was in the army for 12 years, I was very bad about forcing myself to just rough it. Like even through jungle school, the packing list was like a mile long, and I took a quarter of it. So instead of buying a case of water, I am gonna make do with these two waters right here. It's very hot out there. Hopefully I don't drink all of them or. If uh, Trey loses one of the fishing trivia things, then I'll just take his water from him. Ah, uh, again, I'm a simple man. This is uh, seven dollars, and you get two, four, six. I guess I could read the thing. You get twelve cups. <laughs> I'm gonna get twelve cups of this for seven dollars. Go over there and grab two. Actually, we'll round it up. Seven dollars. We'll get three lunchables for three dollars. That'll be ten dollars, and I will have. Oh my gosh, how much left on my budget? So those waters were two dollars a piece. This is seven dollars. Twenty-five minus four is twenty-one. Minus seven is 14. My math is getting better, boys. Turkey, cheese, crackers, butterfingers. Oh, we're gonna get three of them to make it an even number. I'm There's... gonna get one more because I had an extra dollar. You did have an extra dollar, so okay, fair enough, so, fair enough. I'm gonna throw one in So there this too. right here, this is my food for the next 24 hours. This is gonna be, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's $10. That's whole uh, food pyramid there that we learned about in elementary school. Yeah, you got everything. All the nutrients, you got protein, you got carbs, yeah. you got sugar with the Butterfinger. <laughs> yeah. everything, everything we need. Dude, you're looking good, man. I know, thank you, I appreciate that. I like how all of us chose Lunchables. If I win the trivia, I'm just gonna start stealing more Lunchables. Oh I'm God, going dude. to try to acquire all of the food. Norm's gonna, yeah, that Norm's gonna have a collection I want you guys to starve. The last item on my list for $9.95, which after tax is gonna be $11 for sure, them boys didn't think about being up there sitting on the ground. I got a pillow. And that, well, Norm has a pillow, Trey has nothing, I have a chair. And uh, <laughs> I, I really don't want to lose this chair. So we're going to scoot this. That's going to complete my budget, Norm's budget, and Trey's budget. Now, let's head to the treehouse, set everything up, and begin the treehouse games at Fisherman Norm's house. Hot, humid, yeah. miserable treehouse. Dude, I might make it 10 minutes. You think so? As soon as my lunchables are gone. <laughs> What's the rules? What's the rules when somebody quits? Is that do they have to leave all their gear? That's that's just a random I just thought of that. I just thought of that just now. If yeah. somebody quits, you gotta, you gotta leave your gear. Gotta you leave can't take gear. it with you. Okay, can't take it with you when you go. See you guys back at the treehouse. Alright, ladies and gents, we've made it back to the uh treehouse, as you can see. So we're gonna set our little entertainment for the evening. We're gonna set that up. Try to make some, the goal is to make some trick shots off of there. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to figure it out along the way and as we go. Uh, if you, oh, okay. Makes it taller. Where's the hoop? Oh, here it is. Okay. I was about to say, they gave us a basketball with no hoop. Get this thing set up. And uh, once we get up to the top of the treehouse, uh, we're going to carry our items up with us. So once we get up to the top, we can no longer come back down. If you come back down, if this foot, okay, for example, let's say we accidentally knocked the basketball goal over. We're gonna set it a little close right here, just in case. Your foot, as long as you are touching the tree house like this, you can rearrange, set up, fix the basketball goal if in fact it falls over, which it probably will. But if you slip and accidentally trip, whatever, 
if your body leaves the treehouse, you're done. You're eliminated. All of your items now have to stay in the treehouse. This is gonna be a disaster and a half. Right here, I'm already pouring sweat. Like, oh my gosh. Dude, there's no way we make it 24 hours. I don't know, we're gonna try. I did a lot of roughing it in the army, so I'm gonna give it my best shot. Oh, that ain't gonna cut it. Okay. Uh, uh, I think we're missing a piece, Trey. I think we're missing a couple pieces, actually. There is no needle, unless this just pumps like this. No, there has to be a, well, that's uh, we're missing the uh, the hoop's not down there, no. Dude, we're missing the hoop. And we're missing the uh, the needle. We're missing the needle. We have no, interesting. Dilemma number one, problem number one here with this video. <laughs> So we paid 50 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever it costs for this, and it doesn't have everything we need. We'll figure that out here uh, here in a second. Norm had to go grab his laptop or something, but let's, uh, I think we're gonna get the uh, all the items. Oh, God, I'm pouring sweat right now already. It's so humid, so hot. It's literally 105 degrees right now, but we're gonna, we'll figure this out as we go. We have the uh, fishing trivia that we're gonna be playing first anyway, so hopefully we'll come up with a plan uh, before we get started with this. But uh, Norm went to grab his laptop or something like that. Oh, I'm pouring sweat. All right, well, let's grab our items and uh, make our way up to the treehouse. Off we go. Starting the next 24 hour or however long everyone lasts because it's ridiculously hot. We'll see as we get there. But as soon as my foot leaves the ground, time starts for uh, for me, of course. So watch me get up there and y'all just decide like, yeah, we're not coming up there. Bro, you're already sweating. I'm pouring sweat. Uh, it's freaking 105 degrees out here. Yeah, I'm sweating too. Have you ever been in here, Norm? No. Well, that just makes it even better because snakes like stuff like this. Oh my gosh, Norm. Yeah. This is sketchy. Actually, scary. I'm terrified, dude. I hate stuff like this. Oh god. I'm looking for like wasp nest and stuff. Oh, there's a bird nest in here. For real? Yep. Is there a bird? I don't know. I see no birds. I'm literally taking. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay, we are in there like swimwear. There's a bird nest in here, dude. I think we're good, boys. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at this. I'm pouring, pouring sweat right now. All right, let's uh, grab some of the items. Start, Um, I guess, throw me a lunchable tray or something. Yeah. Your meats are here. It actually hit me. <laughs> That's a long day. We're stuck 20 Bro, feet. I'm in. a world champion frisbee thrower. Come on now. Let's go. Perfect. I'm not, I replay that one time in slow motion, please. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I am. Oh my gosh. I cannot even portray like how hot it is. Like if you guys are anywhere in the south right now, just. Go put a sweatsuit on and then trash bags on top of that and go stand outside. That's how we feel right now. Is this thing safe? Sure. Is this, like OSHA approved? Definitely not. I feel not. like I should get like some type of workers comp for this. I would feel way more safe if neighbor Daryl built this. Yeah, me too. Oh, jeez, man. Oh, gosh. This is roomy. This is nice. It's uh, actually not hot in here. I don't know what y'all are talking about. As my camera's fixing to overheat, we're gonna- uh, I'm opening break. every window. Okay, we're gonna give right. the camera uh, We're gonna give the camera a break real quick because my goodness, look at my face. Camera's overheating right now, so we'll be back as soon as we get everything set up. So now starts fishing trivia, and what we'll do is we're just gonna work our way to the right. If you get a question, or excuse me, yeah, if you get a question, if you answer a question wrong, I get to pick one item of choice from that, uh, from that part. So if you get it right, it just keeps going. There's nine questions, so we each get three questions a piece. Let's get it started. You just soaked the. You soaked the whole lid. <laughs> I'm already having a terrible time. <laughs> I'm is... not because I have a cool pad. Trey, first uh, first question here. 
What is the world record largemouth bass weight? In weights and ounces? It has to be. Weight, weight, weight and ounces. ounces. The, the weight of the world record largemouth bass. George Perry caught the world record largemouth bass in Georgia, and that fish weighs 22 pounds and 9 ounces. <gasps> Keeping that cooling pad, boy, I'm telling you, it ain't coming <laughs> off. You're so close, bro. That's no, 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 no. <laughs> 22 pounds. Four ounces. No! 22 pounds, four ounces. No. Also, there was another uh, largemouth caught, 22 pounds, five ounces, in Lake Biwa in Japan in 2009, but it didn't count as a world record because to be a world record, specifically for a largemouth bass, it has to uh, be uh, two or more ounces to be considered the world record. So it would have had to be in 22 pounds, six ounces to be the, the new world record. So George Perry holds the world record, 22 pounds, four ounces, Montgomery Lake in Georgia in 19. 32. So I'm going to need that neck pad, my boy. Are you? Oh, yeah, I am. And you're not taking this in trivia, I promise. I got Are I got plenty sure of lunch. No water? Bro, I got a headlamp. You're scared of the dark. Please. <laughs> that is true. I just put it on. That is true. Well, I'm going to just need to put it on so you no. don't have to come off that. <laughs> Maybe you can get it back when you ask the normal question. Oh, Trey got more water. Trey's got more water than me. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, tell me that's not nice. I feel extravagant with this thing. I'm literally pouring sweat, my gosh. I don't know how many times I can say that in one video. Camera's already overheating again. We finna just do it with the phone. <laughs> it's already yeah. overheating again. Look. Already overheating. Oh, I see the temperature thing. Yeah, yeah. That's how hot it is. 105. Well, yeah. yeah. I feel like How's I that lunchable, have... Norm? How's that lunchable taste? No, this is all miserable, man. I hate this. <laughs> it's like heat rises. It's so hot in here, dude. It's very hot in here. How long do you think you're gonna last, Norm? Uh, maybe another three minutes. <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. If you quit, I would definitely uh, take that orange prom. Not going to lie. That thing's delicious. Okay. I'm going to have an auction. I'm going to make some money. <gasps> oh, oh, I like I'm your style. I have my a question for you, Norm. Yeah. We know bass can see colors, but which of these colors are they most attentive to than the others? Red, blue, Yellow or white? Red. Red. That is correct. Good. Look at my boy. <laughs> I know. I know these things. Okay, okay. All right, so this is a, a three-part one. All right. Uh, or three answers, so it should be easier. You have a 33% chance of winning. I like that. I like those odds. Uh, during which time of the season are topwater lures known to be most effective? A, pre-spawn, B, post-spawn, C, spawn. A pre-spawn. It's a uh, post-spawn. Post-spawn. Okay. Yep. I'm a great fisherman, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I got the question wrong, you get to pick an item of choice and um. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I've got a lot to choose hmm. from. Dude, give me that chair. Ah, I knew it. I was hoping he was gonna forget about it. <laughs> you pointed everything there because you wanted this. Oh, I thought he was gonna forget about yeah, it, dude. dude. I could, and I got a chair and a cushion now. Oh my god! Look at this, dude. We have all the windows open in here, and guys, I'm not kidding. Well, it uh, it's super hot outside, and there's just a massive storm, so it's humid on top of the hot. Yeah, we're all just dripping. Oh, yeah. I mean, we always usually drip, anyways. You know what I'm saying? All right, Trey. Bass can hear and see and taste, but they're also well known for having a sixth sense, known as what? A, B, C, D, telepathy, lateral line, speech, or x-ray vision. The sixth sense of a bass is definitely feel, and they get that from their lateral line. Correct. Correct. Good look at you. He tries a good fisherman, and I'm not, because I don't know when bass eat top water <laughs> stuff. <laughs> All right, Trey, you're up. Oh, God, this is so uncomfortable sitting on this freaking... You should have read all the answers. Yeah. On the website. On the website. I want to lean against this thing, but I don't want to... It's the whole back of the thing falls out. There you go, Trey. You're good. I got a good one for you, Norm. The modern bass boat entered the fishing world in 1948. Okay. What company created this revolutionary watercraft? Yamaha, Ranger, Lund, or Skeeter? Let's say Yamaha. It is a Ranger. That's incorrect. Both answers are incorrect. You're okay. a Skeeter. Okay. I oh, would, you better I come up also. I'm going to need the chair. <laughs> <laughs> My, it's sweating where I put my legs. Dude, I'm going. Crazy. My arms are so <laughs> shaky. <laughs> I'm 
Okay. So this one says, bass are quite intelligent, so intelligent in fact, that they're even capable of which of the following? A, hiding right beneath your boat to avoid detection. B, work in teams with other fish to outsmart anglers. C, adapt to lures and resist them in the future. Or D, long division. I'm gonna go with C. Yeah, that's probably uh, it's probably right. I haven't I haven't even seen the answer yet. Four is C. Yeah, that well that was Let's an easy question. Go. Dang it. That was a solid guess because I'm not even gonna lie to you, like not even fronting for the camera or nothing. I'm so hot. I didn't even hear the question, but pro through process of elimination, I was like, that answer sounds the best. Yeah. Oh God, Trey, look, no joke, you can have this back, bro. That makes my neck feel crazy. Like, golly. I'm like suffering. Dude, your here. shirt has changed colors and I'm mine literally look on. like it's Oh God, this wow. is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, question number three for you. This will be your final question. There are striped bass and white bass, but what do you get when you cross the two species? You don't even have to read the answer. Hybrid bass. Wiper. Give me a second. That's correct. I know. Wiper is? <laughs> Wiper is what it's called, yeah. I was like, that's, he's good. He's very good. He's yeah. better than me. I'll be fishing sometimes. I'll be fishing, I'll be fishing. Okay. Well, that was good. So, Norm, coming up now. This is. Uh, you know, I read the answers again. G -day. <laughs> this is going to be uh, question number three for you. So let's just see if you can get this right. Okay. The bass tend to grow larger in the north or the south. The south. Correct. Oh. <laughs> well, that was easy, I guess. Oh my god! All right, I'll probably. I'll, I'm almost positive y'all saved the hardest question for me for last. So. Yeah, you probably already read. And that I'm that running out of stuff here. Cheaper. I've got. Water and Pringles in a Lunchable. It's way. also only been like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah dude, I'm, here for like I'm hours. so close, man. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I could wring my shirt out right now and like pour, like that's like Fill up the prime bottle of on an sweat. unhealthy level of sweating. Bro, your hair is, I know, I'm just, I can't see me, but I'm just seeing what I can observe. And dude, you're like, I've never seen you sweat this much ever. It's because we're in a, a room, like we go fishing a lot of time. It'd be different if we we're casting rods, but we're just sitting here doing trivia, looking at Lunchables. There's a difference. I could do this hot if we were fishing. Big difference. I can't do it right now. Dude, this is this is probably the biggest trivia question of all time. Whenever okay. you hear trivia games, this question's always asked. So if you've ever watched trivia, you know the answer to this. All right. And it also slightly relates to fishing. Saltwater fishing. Saltwater fishing, okay. What is the name of the largest ocean on Earth? Oh, the largest ocean on Earth. God, that's the Pacific Ocean. You got it. You got it right. I used to live there, but like actually in Hawaii, actually not in the ocean. Kind of in the ocean. It's an island. Okay, and then a follow-up question. Who Give was, me a follow-up. Who was the first woman to pilot? Who was the first woman pilot to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean? Amelia Earhart. Yep, you got it. Too good at this. Oh, yeah. Just keep far away. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is the rarest M and M color? Oh man, um, green, brown is the rarest. Brown? Yep. I've had brown. You know what's crazy? Before. That this, here's a prime them. example of why you should never second guess yourself. I was gonna say brown at first, and I changed it to green. Really? Yep. I swear. Oh yep. my God! The UPS guy literally just dropped off so many evolution boxes. Look <laughs> at <laughs> 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 bro! He literally just pulled out of the driveway. He's there. I heard it though. That's the thing. Uh -oh. I am expecting those boxes. Hey, you know it's today. supposed to rain here shortly if it, soon, too. Bro, if, it rains on, if it starts raining, I'm sprinting because I have a lot of Pokemon. I know. You bought a lot on the podcast the other day. Think about quit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of lunch have you got there? Oh, you got the cookies one? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I am American. Yeah. Well, if you want to quit, I'm not going to. Oh, my God. Look at your neck, bro. You're sweating so bad. That's how bad I was sweating. I'm probably mm -hmm. still sweating that bad. Yeah. My shirt's like a completely different color. I could wring my shirt and and would be hot, trenched. Yeah. I'm wiping it off on my shirt too. Zero breeze, by the way. You can see there's the trees are not moving at all. 107 yeah. degrees, 105 degrees out here. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's probably a weird angle to talk to y'all. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last. We were sitting here talking <laughs> about it. <laughs> this sucks. This sucks. I don't mind. I don't mind doing like the the 24 hour stuff, the camping stuff, the other stuff than being in a tree house that has no air and it's just miserably hot and I'm definitely dehydrated from yesterday. You know, it takes 72 hours to get hydrated, Norm. Mm -hmm. So we should, probably should have hydrated 72 hours prior to this video and we didn't even think about it. We were just like, hey, 
This is a funny idea for the people to watch. All of our water out. If you guys really want it, I'm gonna put it just no! just the distance away from the ladder where you might end up risking it all for a lunchable. Because it, it's as long as you touch the ground and that's right there at the distance where well, I'm, I told, far yeah. enough away. As where long as you guys get hungry tonight, you might want to risk the thousands of dollars for a one dollar lunchable that you could have bought, but you said you didn't want it, so. Yeah, like dang, your tummy, your tummy is going. Dang, you probably should have bought that lunchable for a dollar. <laughs> that probably would have been smart of you. Well, guys, enjoy your time up here. Okay, take my leftovers of my open lunchables down. Um, yep, I'm. It's happened. Yep, I'm gonna go put some work in. You right, guys, Trey. You guys it's between fun. me and you now. It's between me and you. A five thousand dollar box, thousand dollar box, whatever it is, of a, a bunch of fishing stuff. Really good fishing stuff too. At that, really good fishing stuff. I hope you trip on the ladder. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible thing to say. I'm just kidding. I would never want you to trip. Oh. Oh my cracker! Was that you? <laughs> or is that came out of my? It came out of your. One okay. foot can leave. One foot can leave. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're dirty. You're foul for that. You boys have fun up there. I'm going to go enjoy some air conditioning, a shower, and editing my videos. So You're so foul for that. The Lunchable's now right there. You guys are stay out here until dark. Or else I'm going to be disappointed. Oh, it'll be dark before. It's going to be morning before I leave. All right. Well, it'll be dark in like, what, three hours? N probably. Yep, so <laughs> have fun, guys. All right, well, Norm just tapped. It's got about two and a half, three hours before it's dark. Trey's in there doing whatever. I don't even know, but I probably should have hydrated. I'm actually starting to feel like really sick to my stomach. And like, I just got like a really sick feeling. Like, I feel like I'm starting to turn like pasty. Like, look at my hands. Like, I'm literally turning pasty. <sighs> this sucks. Well... We're sitting on a pile in here. We're looking good, honestly. Uh, TJ's looking pretty down bad right now. I think he's like cramping up. Uh, you know, obviously we're all sweating. I think he's getting dehydrated and uh, he's out of water. So um, I really think I got this in the bag, man. Uh, Cause I'm sitting up here, I'm chilling, I'm happy. Uh, it's not even really that hot. They're just being sissies, honestly. Um, you know, life's good. I'm gonna camp out here tonight with the bugs and the mosquitoes and the lions and everything. How you doing out there? Not good. Well, we'll get back to y'all shortly. Looking sweaty out there. I'm out. You can have all my stuff. Literally all of it. I'm done. I'm cramping and I feel like crap. Raise no quitter. Psycho. Oh, I suck so bad, dude. Mm, you had me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Thought you was gone. Yeah. No. Mom ain't raised no quitter. All right. It's been like three and a half hours. I'm tired. It's hot. Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm ready to go take a shower. Honestly, TJ ate a lunch bowl. That was definitely not cold, and I don't think he's feeling too good. Let's go check on him and see what's up. How you doing? You good? No? I just threw up the turkey lunchable. No, you didn't. <clears throat> I stopped sweating. And that's not good. Mm. All right, guys. Well, I just got uh, out the shower. Did some editing. It's now dark outside. Going to come check on the boys and see how they're doing out here. What's up, guys? Uh, not much. Just surviving, thriving, you know. Is my Lunchable still here? Yeah, I probably wouldn't eat it, though. TJ threw up because he ate a Lunchable. He threw up? Yeah, he's not doing good. Mmm. 
but I'm thriving. Is he still up there? I can't see a thing. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he might be asleep. He's down. He's down bad. Well, how's your past three hours been? It's been good. Got some editing done. Okay. Took a shower. That would be sick. Had a cold, uh, nice cold water with a little bit of BCAAs in it. Wow, that would be nice. Well, we've been up here sweating for the past three hours and scrolling TikTok, so. That's fun. Yeah. Well, I guess you guys still stand up there? I am. I don't know about TJ, but. All right, well, I'll see you guys in the morning, I guess. All right, well, don't get comfy in that air-conditioned house with the freezer and a refrigerator full of food that's good and healthy. Okay, I won't. <laughs> well, guess I'll see you in the morning then. Okay, all right, you guys are dedicated. I'm not going to lie, I'm impressed. But I am going to go back inside and enjoy my life. So, have fun. I will. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oof. You good? It's not doing hot. I think you might need to go inside. I'm about to quit. Are you? Mm -hmm. You don't look like you feel good. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. It'd be a shame if you walked down those stairs right now. It'd be a shame to go sit in the AC. And take a shower. Mm -hmm. Get cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's up to you though. I'm not gonna make you leave, but you know, you definitely could leave. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. <coughs> I'm out. I'm 100% out. It was a joke the first time. It's not a joke now. I feel like sh I threw up. I'm done. I'm going inside. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm done. You're done. Wow. All right, guys. TJ just went back in the house, so I guess that means I won. Um, I really didn't expect to win, honestly. TJ, TJ's pretty tough. He's he's down bad, so he went back inside. Uh, hope he starts feeling better. But I really didn't expect to beat him. You know, he's been through a bunch of stuff in the army, like jungle school and all that, where. You know, I definitely couldn't go survive in the woods for 30 days and just get rained on every day and just really just be out in the wilderness surviving. We got in the treehouse this morning at 11.30. It's now 10.30. It's been a long, hot, boring day up here in the treehouse, but I'm finna go tear through that box of reels because I'm so excited that I won them reels and baits. And you know, I'm really about to go rub it in because I'm more of a man than TJ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the next day and I feel a whole lot better. Congratulations to Trey for winning. I'm not going to lie. I did not think that you were going to be the one to win. I wholeheartedly believed. I was like, dude, I'm taking this in the bag. And like, let me just tell you, like, let me just reiterate the importance of good, clean hydration. When you don't do that, you lose. Your, your entire body just locks up. It's terrible. If there's anybody out there that suffered from like dehydration, I think that's what happened to me yesterday, but I was just done. I like, when I mean done, I was done. I had nothing left in the tank. Like it was, it was bad. I, it was so hot up there. I, I literally just stopped sweating. I had nothing left in me to sweat. And like, that's when you know it's, it's really bad. But the tree house, the tree house was uh, quite the, quite the experience. So Trey, let's go claim your prize really quick norm's in the house he just ran in there to take a shower real quick we just got done filming a uh, podcast and uh that one's going to be actually pretty funny we did a uh, called uh we had jigging with jordan on there we had uh ao on there it was hilarious but anyways yeah let's go check your prize out trey <laughs> so what do you got let's just see got what you tackle got boxes. that's like a 50 dollar bag a ton of couple. baits couple baits yeah literally might have a couple swim baits might catch a couple fish on those you know, tackle box to keep my baits. Uh, big swimmers. Just dump it. I will take the reels out first. Don't yeah, dump yeah, the reels because yeah. those are very expensive reels, and you you don't want to ruin. Your I reels. got like probably the coolest reel you could ever get for South Florida for like snook and all is that. Is that the uh, which one is it's that? It's a twin power. Oh my! God. Another, I don't know. Nice dial. Well, that looks expensive. <laughs> yeah, it was like five hundred bucks, dude. <laughs>
A Metanium DC? Corrado DC. Or Corrado DC. Meh. Meh. That's the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. This one. Which one is that one? That's a $849 reel. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's the uh, that's the big boy right there. That's, that's an the exist. One oh. Oh. Don't forget re that one. Don't forget the uh, that's another. Little... That's another 400 400 bucks right there. Titanium DC. Yeah. I remember when those used to be the wave. Good thing you took the reels out. Dump all those out. That's going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, check Norm out, check the podcast out. Uh, congratulations to the real winner for all you guys subscribing to the podcast. I'm going to do more giveaways to help grow the podcast and stuff like that. We've been having an absolute blast with it. We filmed like seven or eight episodes already down here with Norm, myself and Trey have. And uh, they've all been absolute just pure freaking hilarious. So look forward to seeing you guys on the podcast. Look forward to seeing you guys around here on the Fishing with Yak Pack YouTube channel. Love you guys. Catch you on the next venture. Peace.